Hi everyone, this is Theo. Today I want to talk about the handwriting and note taking experience on the iPad Pro 2020. This video is for those who are thinking of getting an iPad or iPad Pro for taking notes. So let me start by saying that if you just want to buy a tablet to take notes, I would actually recommend the iPad 7, the one that supports Apple Pencil because the note taking experience for that iPad is quite good as well. If you want a slightly better note taking experience, then you can go with iPad Air 3 or the iPad mini 5. Uh, both have laminated displays, which is to say that when you are writing on the display, it's going to feel more solid. For the iPad 7, which doesn't have a laminated display, when writing on it, it's going to sound a bit hollow with the Apple Pencil tapping on the screen, but seriously, it's no big deal because this is significantly cheaper compared to these two options. If you just want a premium feel, I would highly recommend getting the iPad Air 3 because it's hundreds of dollars cheaper compared to the iPad Pro. And this is 10.5 inches, which is a good size to take notes with and this supports Apple Pencil 1 which is also significantly cheaper compared to Apple Pencil 2. Alright, let's um, do some writing with this app. This is Wacom Bamboo Paper. I like this app because it doesn't have a lot of features. The writing experience on this feels very good. I don't have a screen protector on this. Um, writing it's not slippery it's smooth but it's not slippery and the apple pencil is very accurate so it's able to capture my handwriting really accurately this app is called notes plus the thin and thick lines that you see are actually styles applied by the software it's not because i press down harder to get the thicker lines and Apple Pencil has pretty good palm rejection. Occasionally, I may still get the straight dots, um, but overall, palm rejection works quite well. The last app I want to show you is Microsoft OneNote, and this time around, I'm going to write as small as possible. So the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil again is able to capture my handwriting very accurately. So writing big or small, it doesn't really matter at all or the line always appears directly beneath the pen tip. And because this is a laminated display, there is no gap between the glass surface and the actual LCD screen beneath. So when you're writing, it really feels like you're writing on the surface of the tablet. Regardless of which iPad you get, there are many wonderful note-taking apps on iOS or on iPad OS. So for example, with Microsoft OneNote, it has some pretty funky features. And with some other note-taking apps, you can actually convert your handwritten text into editable text. One common question I get is regarding screen protectors. Should you get one of those matte surface screen protectors that give you that paper-like texture when you are writing? Well, personally, I don't think it's that necessary because um, the writing experience on this glass surface is actually quite good. So unless you want to buy a screen protector to protect your surface against scratches, then you probably don't need one. To conclude, the overall handwriting and note-taking experience on the iPad Pro 2020 is A+, just like the cheaper iPad Air 3 and iPad Mini 5. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye!